Think so. VA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, it's Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a great one in store, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Indianapolis Colts. It's that most wonderful time of the year, the NFL playoffs, as we're underway on EA Sports. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Second and ten. A very chilly day here, but no snow. And I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want I snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Houston. Take down, 75 yards. And the Texans will strike first here in this wild card matchup. 
Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbair now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And this is going to be a coach first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Ready, set. First and 10, Taylor now. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. And this is what you want to do in the first half of a playoff game, get the running game established. He was a big part of their run to a division title. So they're going to rely on him to carry a heavy load here in the playoffs. He rips off a nice run there. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 49-yard line. 60 bison, 60 bison. And they'll go to the air now with Richardson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Now a second and ten. Now it's Richardson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 30. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. A nice throw there. And, you know, this game, a true rarity. Not one, but you got two rookie quarterbacks facing each other in the playoffs. What do you think, Charles, that says about the state of quarterback play in today's NFL? I'm glad you asked that question because all week in preparation for this game, I thought about that, and what I've landed on is this. These kids play high-stakes games from the time they're in high school. A lot of them travel to play games. They play on television. They go to college, play big-time games. And let's face it. They... And he's got his target. It's come for Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor from 21 yards away. And the Colts respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Charlie Jones now from his end zone. Fighting his way through contact. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Houston 
Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And when the defense wins and gets up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Second and ten. Stroud looking to throw. We'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Here's second and ten. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. He's across midfield. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 35. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. First and ten, it's Pierce. There he goes, right side. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Pierce is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Chased out left. And he'll just chop this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Boy, that was locked down coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. That was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. This Colts D up to the challenge so far, but they need another stop here on third and goal. Stroud. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Colts TD. Gay is on for the point after. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. 
The last time everything looked pretty good except that final play on the pick six. And now they've got to come right back out here, Charles, and try to pick up the pieces and get things going again. Yeah, it certainly seems dire, doesn't it? But there is a silver lining, and it is hard to see so soon after that touchdown. But the game plan was definitely working. They were generating offense, had the ball beyond midfield, getting wins on each down against the defense. So they're moving it well. They just have to hang on to it. She said, though, no, kind of tough to remember those good things on that last drive when it came to like it did. Third down, Stroud from his end zone. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Colts are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Let's go. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Hey, check that, check that. Street, street. Ready. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Richardson out of the shotgun. Flush to his right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And the Texans are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. He'd been having a good day so far, but I think he got a little overzealous on that one. Still young in this league. Has to learn to try not to do too much on an individual play because, as we all know, sometimes less is more. And throwing away is preferable to me. They intercept Stroud again the third time in this game. And he will bring it back. An interception return. TD. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready. Houston's offense Ready. already at the line, set to get going. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Stroud working out of the gun. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about small black and water for the pressure on the rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Colts will have solid field position here as they take over at the 45-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. And he just throws this one away. That was a bit strange, and here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Check it, check it. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
He's got his target. That's complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 38. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. Now Richardson going to shift things up. Back to Taylor on first down. And yeah, not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24 yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Richardson looking to throw this. This is caught. Touchdown. Michael Pittman. A 24 yard touchdown. And the Colts continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Houston. Kendrick Bourne, 73 yards. And the Texans get a bit closer. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Now right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. And we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? From the gun, it's Taylor. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. Now second and five. Hurry, hurry! Now Richardson. He's going to find Taylor downfield. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 16. A good pickup there, 26 yards. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Richardson back to throw it. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. 
running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Here's Richardson to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Richardson going to move him around. They'll run here with Taylor. And he stopped immediately there. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Richardson looking to throw. And it's caught. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This defense hasn't let them in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal from the two. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson as the first half is winding down. And the Colts will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And they're going to be waiting for him as they get him behind the line. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC Wild Card game. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, they may get even bigger plays in the passing game. 
Meanwhile, Richardson's throw into the hands of Pittman here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. On the ball, on the ball. On the handoff, this is Taylor. Taking it right down Broadway. Loose inside the 30. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. 99 yards rushing for him now as he has been a central figure in trying to get his guys to the second round. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. They run once more with Taylor. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Richardson to throw off play action. Flushed out right. And he's got it. And the Colts are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Taylor diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. And the thing you have to love about Jonathan Taylor, he's a shifty speed guy most of the time when you hand him the football but he's not coming off the field when you get down near the goal line because he's as tall and gritty as they come. And he finishes things off here by getting into the end zone. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. The partner you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to... And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Houston. Nico Collins, 73 yards. And the Texans are able to cut into that deficit. Well, look, this is a team, Charles, they faced adversity all year long. They had a fight and claw to win that division, but they're putting it all together here in the wild card game. It feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game, a message to the top seeds. Overlook us at your own peril. We're pretty darn good. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. Texans 21. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Two yards, good enough for a first. Off the option, here's Taylor. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they spot it at the 49. 128 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And in a situation like this, you're in the second half with the lead, trying to get to the division round. 
They're going to let him do his thing on the ground, and that's a great run there to pick up a first down. In motion right is Pittman. They go to the ground again with Taylor. They find some open field here. Now he's into the clear again. And he takes this one in for a close touchdown. Jonathan Taylor saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. An extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will increase their lead to 28. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Let's go now. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now that ground game just continues to struggle to really get any momentum in this ball game, Charles. And I mean, you're at the point here, third quarter. Down four scores, probably going to have to put it in the air. Oh, no question about it. So that's your only chance, your only opportunity. But think of the pressure you just put on your offensive line because if you're a pass rusher, you're not even thinking about them running the football. All you're doing is getting into that sprinter stance and going after the quarterback. First down, Houston. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So it looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Second and 10, Stroud to throw yet again here. Escaping the pressure right. Throw right side, taken in by Collins. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That catch moves him over 100 yards now for this wild card game. And a first down as well. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Ready, ready. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Mechie, the man in motion. Ready. He'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow, they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, the defender was right on him. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Now here's Stroud on third down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Nico Collins, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. 
Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out to this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Jonathan Taylor, incomplete. Brings up third down and eight yards to go. The Colts on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This is third and eight. Panther Street, Panther Street. Go, Rick, go. Ready. Richardson. Going to Woods, but that pass is intercepted. Desmond King picks it. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Stroud to throw it. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Brevin Jordan from four yards out. And the Texans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Texans 35. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they are looking good. A two-score lead here in this fourth quarter as they hope to capture a spot in the divisional round next weekend. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense. And this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Jalen Petrie picks it off, and he'll bring this one back to the 29. Stroud sets up the play action. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Samson Abuka. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Uh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Buying time to his left. He's got it to Collins complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Stroud to the air on first and 10. 
Another one caught by Collins. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. On the jump. Second and six Hawk coming 70, up. Mechie, the man in motion. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he will be brought down with a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. First and goal, Houston. Here's first and goal. Top low, 18. Warriors, 17. Ready. Here goes Stroud again. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. You want to talk about the proverbial deer in the headlights? That's exactly what he was when he got the ball. Went to hit a lane and get upfield, and all he saw? Extra defenders bearing down on him. Perfect time to dial up the blitz. An excellent call. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. This is caught. They do get eight out of the pitch and catch, however, it's fourth down. Oh, my, that's a heck of a tackle right there on third down because they had to swing it out to the back and hope that he could make a play. But let's face it, in order for him to be there and be in that position, in order to make that play, he had to read his keys and not be fooled. Excellent job in the open field. And he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Colts have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who is shaken up. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. 70 Ranger, 70 Ranger. On first down, here's Stroud. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. The second down throw now from Stroud. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is 
He's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. 60 Bobcats, 60 Bobcats. Fourth down, fourth quarter, here's Stroud. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Mike Hilton, down the right sideline. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Throw out right, pulled in by Downs. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They go play action with Richardson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he takes it in for a cut score. Jonathan Taylor taking it in from two yards out. And the Colts have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will increase their lead to 28. the touchdown here's gay to kick it away here's jones to bring it out of the end zone and tackled at the 21 yard line so a net negative there of four yards okay ready and they'll indeed take a knee They said beginning of the season they wanted to get past the wild card round. Well, they just.